You can put your hands together. Worship the name of our Lord. Top of the volume. Increase it. Let it be loud. Tonight it's going to be loud. Every step of faith. Every sacrifice. Every prayer that's prayed from an honest heart. You alone deserve every breath of worship. One song to say how great you are. Let's all sing it again. One more time. Every step of faith, every sacrifice, every prayer that's prayed from an honest heart. You alone deserve That's right. every breath of worship. I just want to say how great you are. God, it's all for you. Every song of praise, it's all for you. Every hand that's raised, everything I am. Everything I do, it's all for you, all for you. Come on. I just want to know, Jesus, you my hero. I'm a grateful soul that's been redeemed. creation sings all the earth adores you from the highest star to the deepest sea let's sing it again one more time i will let you know jesus you're my hero i'm a grateful soul that's been redeemed all creation sings all creation sings, all the earth adores you, from the highest star to the deepest sea. Lord, it's all for you, every song of praise, it's all for you, every hand that Lord, it's all for you, let's sing. Lord, it's all for you. Every song of praise, it is all for you. One more time. One more time. Let's all sing, Lord, it's all for you. Lord, it's all for you. Every song of praise, it's all for you. Every hand that's raised. Everything I do is all for you, all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. very good evening today you know um, we thought that we could start the church services from this week but however due to the rising curve and we were not able to take that step because we don't want to put you all at risk and um, right now the cases in Hyderabad are actually rising and we don't know uh, 
uh, how it is because the community transmission it looks like community transmission even though the government is not uh, sharing that information with us uh, whatever it is we won't stop church happening amen hallelujah because whatever it is the church is always open the church is always open you know recently i saw that meme where the satan says uh, god i closed the churches all around the world and god says well i made the churches open in every household hallelujah aren't we happy that we have a god who is the same yesterday today and forever amen our god is the same yesterday today and forever in a world where we believe everything with only with our eyes watching them or hearing it you know we we believe everything only when we hear or when we see that's when we believe it is very hard for us to believe what is unseen or what is not heard what is not common you know it is very hard for us to believe against the common things it is very hard for us to believe against the norms against what the general people believe sometimes in the situations where you are in you know you are going to lose your hope you are going to lose your vision you won't have you won't be having any hope for a good future in the recent time you, things can happen you might you might have been stuck in that same pit from a long time you might have been doing the same things routinely day after day and time after time many people might have come into your life and prophesied it but you know you are in a situation where it's really hard for you to believe saying god help me get out of this situation help me get out of this situation sometimes it is really hard for us to believe against the normal sometimes it is very hard for us to believe against the normal against the routine so my question to you is what do you do during those times what do you do at that time what are the thoughts that run in your mind at that time what goes in your heart what are the thoughts that go when everything shatters when everything doesn't go as per your plan when all that that you have hoped for starts crumbling down right in front of your eyes what do you do what is the action that you take or what are the thoughts that go into your mind today we're going to see something really important that is to do more with your thinking pattern with it with your thinking pattern you know we see a similar situation with moses moses who was a hebrew he somehow went to the palace of the pharaoh the egyptian king and he went into the palace of the pharaoh and he was trained and he was trained to become the next pharaoh but he was not comfortable with the situation he was not comfortable in the place that he held and he could not see his fellow hebrews being tortured he could not see his fellow be- hebrews or his fellow men causing having problems from the palace that he was ruling the same palace which was supposed to rule he wanted to turn it into a palace which is going to save his people and he he saw one man one man being tortured and he intervened he intervened and he killed the egyptian when nobody was looking at him he killed the egyptian the very kingdom which trained him to be the very kingdom which was going to give him the princehood the very kingdom which was going to give him the kingship the royalty he killed the same people who were serving him and let's see what happens in exodus 2:15 when pharaoh heard about it he tried to kill moses but moses ran away from pharaoh and settled down in the land of midian you know we see moses here in a typical situation where he killed he did something illegal he did something that is unethical according to the egyptian culture he killed a man with his own hand and he didn't kill the enemy nor did he, he did he kill the slave but he killed the very people that were ruling and when the pharaoh came to know about that he tried to kill moses but moses ran for his life moses ran for his life moses ran leaving his princehood moses ran leaving everything behind him the man whom he was being trained he left everything he left 
the royalty. He left the very thoughts that were conquering him. He left everything. My dear brother and sister, what was God trying to do with Moses? A lot of times we are in the same situation where we are trained to believe some truth, where we are trained to believe some facts. And it all turns out that it's not true. And it all turns out that there is no hope for your future. What do you do in those situations? What do you do in those situations? Are you running away? From your future. Are you running away? Like the same Moses who was running. Are you running for your life? Are you leaving your hopes and your dreams and your visions? And are you running away? Because there is no more future. There is no more future. Are you running away? Because everything is shattering. Are you running away? Have you ever faced these kind of situations in your life? Where everything that you have hoped for, for your house, for your family, for your relationships, everything comes shattering down and you're in the middle of a crisis. Where you're in the middle of a crisis. Over here, Moses wanted to help the Hebrew people in his own capacity. He wanted to help the Hebrew people after he becomes a Pharaoh. He wanted to help the Hebrew people from the position that he was holding. From the position that he was holding. From the position that he was holding. He wanted to help his fellow men according to his strength. He wanted to help the, his fellow men according to his capabilities. According to his capabilities. Moses wanted to help according to his mindset. According to his thinking patterns. According to how the world wants him to think and you know what most of us are also like that we want to do things in our own capacity we want to do things in our own capability we want to move according to the, our strength we want to move according to our mind but is that what we are supposed to do is that what we are supposed to do are we supposed to think like the common are we supposed to think like everybody are we supposed to think like how you are trained to think. You know, the world wants you to think how you are trained to think. That's exactly what the world wants you to think. The world trains you in a way and the world wants you to think in the same way that it has trained you. Without a doubt, you are going to fall into the same circle. Same circle. Let's see what the Bible says. For our thinking patterns. In Romans 12 too, this is what it says. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. His good, pleasing and perfect will. But you know, today I want you to back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. And let's break down this sentence. This very simple sentence. Which you might have read probably a thousand times till now. You might have read and meditated upon this a th ten thousand times till now. But let's take a break over here. Let's take a break over here. And see what it actually says. It says, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. That means there is a pattern that the world has. There is a pattern that the world has. And you should not conform yourself to the pattern of the world. To the pattern of the world. To the pattern of the world. You know, how many of you think over here? Everybody thinks, right? Everybody thinks. You think what to eat. You think what to wear. You think what step to take. You think what action to take. You think about your future. You think about your family. You think about your relatives. You think about your job, your career. You think about your business. You think, how should I grow? But you know what? Even a dog thinks. A dog. Yeah. Even a dog thinks, man. Even an animal, a regular, a small animal, even an ant thinks. They think. But the key for your future, the key for your success is to think in the right way. To think in the right way. You know, the world wants you to think. That's exactly what the word, God, word of God is saying. 
The world wants you to think in a certain pattern, but that's not the pattern that God wants you to think. You need to start thinking in the God pattern, not in the world pattern. Hallelujah. The first step for you to think is you should leave the world pattern. Leave the world pattern. You know, do not conform to the world pattern. That means don't stick to the world pattern. Don't stick to the culture of the world. Don't stick to the thinking of the world. Don't stick to the strength of the world. Don't stick to that pattern. Don't stick to that pattern. But be transformed. Everybody say transformed. Oh man. That's where the power is. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Everybody say mind. Mind. You know, mind is such an important thing. Because for you to think, you need, you need to have a mind and that's what you, need, you think with. You do not think with anything else. You think with your mind. You think with your mind. But you think with your mind, but you do not think according to the world pattern. But you renew your mind because the world pattern isn't working. Hallelujah. You have been trying, trying, trying from the past 10, 15, 20 years. You've been trying to make things happen. You've been trying to help your family. You have been trying to better do a better job in your work. You've been trying to do better things, better way. But why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? It isn't working because you are not renewing your mind. You are only getting confirmed to the world. You are not taking the advice from a person who runs in the world. You are taking from an advice from a person who has failed. You are taking an advice from a person who thinks according to the world. What is that? What is the pattern that you are thinking today? What is the pattern that you are following today? What is your pattern that flows in your mind? What is that that runs? When everything crumbles down like Moses. That's exactly what Moses thought. Moses thought he could help in his own capacity. Moses thought because nobody's watching, let me bury this Egyptian so I can help, help my fellow Hebrew. Are you thinking to grow in your own capacity? Are you thinking to grow in your own mindset? Are you thinking, well, if I do this, if I do that, then I'm going to be successful. Well, have you tried that? Oh, yes, very sure. You might have tried it. Have, how many years have you, have you been trying it? Probably from the past 10 years. Has it been working? Has it been working? The first key, the first key for you to have a successful life is do not conform yourself to the pattern of the world, but renew your mind. Hallelujah. Everybody say renew your mind. Renew your mind. Renew. God, Father, renew the mind of the people, whoever is watching right now. Renew the mind. Renew the mind. You know what happens? When you renew your mind, you are going to be transformed. Hallelujah. Transformed. That means your form is going to be transfigured. Your form is going to change. No more people are going to look at you like a caterpillar. But they're going to see you like a butterfly. No more people are going to see you like a, like a cat. But people are going to start looking at you like the big cat. The lion and the tiger. The big cat. Hallelujah. There's a big difference in a cat and the lion. A cat can transform herself into a lion. Even though they were from the same family, a cat is still a cat. You know why? Because of the thinking pattern. The thinking pattern. The thinking pattern. Are you conforming yourself to the world? Are you conforming yourself? What did I share last week? I, sh I spoke about priority, right? Priority. You know how important priority is? The, if, the reason why your life is not being successful is because there is no priority in your life. Today I'm telling you, if you do not renew your mind and you are still stuck in the worldly pattern, my dear brother and sister, next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years are going to come like that and go, but you are going to still remain in the same way. You are still going to pay the same rent, probably move, move to a different location. You are going to still earn the same way. There's no blessing in your life. Your farm doesn't grow. Your fields don't grow crops. 
Your work doesn't yield better results. There is no promotion in your life. Everything comes with the blessing of our Lord. Everything comes when the Lord blesses you. When the Lord blesses you. You know, the Lord wants to bless you, but are you ready to accept the change and be transformed in your life? Are you ready to accept the change and move yourself and change yourself? You know, when you can change yourself, when you change over here, when you change in your mind, that is when you are going to change physically. Hallelujah. You know, a lot of times we wear badges, we wear t-shirts, we wear, uh, we stick that fish symbol to our cars, bikes. We, we uh, quote unquote, uh, put up, uh, um, what is that, WhatsApp statuses, Instagram statuses. We, we share posts saying, God is with you, God is going to bless you, God will do that, God will do this for you. Take a look at your life. Is that happening with you? Why isn't it happening? Why isn't God blessing you? You share a lot of posts, right? I see a lot of people who are there on my, on my WhatsApp statuses. They, they keep on constantly saying, God, thank you for protecting. Thank you uh, for making me special. Thank you for blessing me. And they still live the same life. They still live the same life. It is, it is not, it's not at all bad in being grateful or having an attitude of gratitude. That's actually good. But if you do not renew your mind and only showcase outside, if your mind doesn't change, but your, your, the clothes that you wear change, if your mind doesn't change, but the badges and the bracelets and the t-shirts that you wear, they change. You never really change. You never really change. The change should come from within. Hallelujah. The change should come from within. The change should come from within. Are you ready for the change today? Are you ready for the change today? Are you ready for God to change your life? If you're ready for God to change your life, the first thing that you got to do is you need to change your mind. Change your mind. Stop changing the outer cover first. Start changing the engine. Start changing the way you think. Start changing the way you think. Do not think according to the pattern of the world. Do not conform yourself according to the pattern of the world. But you need to start thinking according to the word of God. Amen. You need to start thinking according to how God thinks. You need to have an attitude of God. An attitude of God. How does God think? You know, Moses was never meant to be a leader of Israel until he left the worldly pattern. You know, Moses ran away to the land of Midian. The land of Midian. You know why? Because God wanted to break everything that Moses learned. God wanted to change Moses from a prince to a shepherd. Hallelujah. God wanted to change Moses from a leader of Egypt to a savior of Israel. Amen. You know, there's a different attitude when you're from a prince to a shepherd. From a leader in Egypt to a savior of a country. It's a whole totally different transformation. It's a whole dynamic change. My dear brothers and sisters, how are you thinking? How are you thinking today? Are you thinking according to the world? Or the worldly pattern. Are you thinking how the world wants you to think? Are you thinking? You know the world wants you to cry. When everything falls down. But the word of the Lord says. When everything falls down. I'm going to start praising you. Hallelujah. Woo. You know the word of the Lord says. If, if I take away something from you. I am going to give you the double blessing. Amen. My dear church. Don't think according to the world. Don't conform yourself according to the world. But be transformed. Everybody say transformed. Amen. Be transformed according to the renewing. And renew your mind according to him. Renew your mind. Renew your mind. Oh, a big disaster happened. This is what life is. I'm telling you. 
that is not what life is god gave you a life so you can thrive in that life not for you to survive in that life it is not for survival it is not for survival it is for you to thrive hallelujah you know if you renew your mind you're going to know what god's will is you're going to know what god's will is test test everything test everything you know the the hardest thing for us human beings is to think differently we are afraid to think differently we are so afraid to think differently that if you 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 are like what what will my relatives think if i think differently what will my cousins think if i think differently what what are what are going to my friends man what are they going to think if i think differently oh i shouldn't think differently i shouldn't look differently i shouldn't be different from other people i shouldn't be different are you serious do you know a duplicate never has the value of an original the duplicate never has the value of an original the reason why my messages are so different is because i do not duplicate the messages i create an original message that i receive from my god hallelujah maria church how is your life today how is your life today are you just playing a duplicate life are you just duplicating other people in your life are you just duplicating other things in your life or are you an original are you an original are you an original today ask yourself that question am i an original or am i being duplicated by something is your mind thinking in the original pattern or is it deviating from the word the original only has the value only the original has the value not the replica not the replica sometimes people pay millions of dollars for the original and 1 dollar or 1 rupee for the replica you know your house documents only the original house documents is valid not the duplicated ones hallelujah now do you do you know why you are not being respected in your work area because you are not being an original you are only trying to duplicate things you are only duplicating are you creating something that comes from your heart are you creating something are you creating an impression that is original or are you only trying to recreate what other people are creating if your fingerprints aren't matching with the other person why do you want to copy what the other person is doing why because that is the world pattern of thinking the worldly pattern of thinking the world's pattern of thinking is copy copy duplicate duplicate that's not how god wants you to do you know the world the world wants you to do that because it is easier for the world to manage you it is easier for the world to manage you if you're just a duplicate but if you're an original you are going to manage the world hallelujah there's a big difference let me let me say that again if you are a duplicate that it is easier for the world to manage you but if you are an original you are going to manage the world amen say amen to that the power to change the power to change is right within you when you start thinking differently when you start thinking differently start thinking differently renew your mind be transformed with your mind the only way you can be transformed from a failure to a successful person is when you start thinking renewing your mind amen amen oh church this is so powerful stuff this is such a powerful stuff that that if you start implementing this word in your life there's going to be a tremendous change a tremendous change tremendous change in your life if moses would have thought oh let me just wait 
let me just wait till I get, you know, higher up the position. Let me just wait till I become the Pharaoh of Egypt. So I will free the, Egypt, uh, the Hebrew people. If he would have thought that, he would have never freed Israel from Egypt. He would have never freed Israel from Egypt. Just because he gave everything away. And he was ready to be transformed. With his mind, he was ready to be transformed. If Joseph would have thought, let me just be nice with my brothers. Let me not really disturb them. So, you know, they don't throw me in the pit. Let me not share my dreams and my visions. He would have never become the Prime Minister of Egypt. What is that you are fearful of today? What is that you are fearful of? Are you fearful because God has given you a unique design? Are you fearful because God has destined you in a unique way? Are you fearful because you are an original? Are you fearful because you don't want other people to hate you? My dear church, if you are living a life of fear, you are never going to become the person that God has destined you to become. If you are going to live a life of fear, you are never going to become a person that God has destined you to become. You are never going to reach the destination that God has set before you. If you live a life of fear, if you live a life of thinking what will happen if I become an original, if you live a life fearing other things and other people. My dear church, it is time for you to start thinking and become an original. You know, timid people never really achieve anything. Fearful people never really achieve anything. People who are afraid, they never really achieve anything. Only strong people, strong people, they achieve things. That's exactly what the Word of God says. The Word of God says, people, who are influencers, only influencers, they run the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. People of influence, they run the kingdom of God. Are you a person who's becoming a pe person of influence? Or are you only going with the crowd? Are you becoming a person who can believe against the normal? A person who can believe against the normal. A person who can think against the normal. If Benjamin Franklin would have thought ev like everybody else, he would have never invented electricity. Benjamin Franklin. We would have never got electricity today. If Benjamin Franklin thought there was no, really nothing, no electricity, nothing, all that is crap. He, he didn't believe that. He believed against the normal. He believed against the normal. What is that God has given to you? What is the dream and the vision that God has given to you? Are you believing against everybody? Or are you only believing in the word that God has given to you? So you can achieve what God has given to you. My dear church, don't live a life of fear. Start living a life which is going to break every stronghold of fearfulness. Every stronghold of timidness. Let that be gone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is going to fight that battle of fearfulness when you are ready to change your thinking pattern. Are you ready to change the way you think today? Moses did not run away from the problem. Moses ran away from the situation. Moses ran away from the situation, but he was thinking about the problem in the mind. That's exactly what God, what made God to visit Moses, because Moses is now thinking in the attitude of God. Moses is now thinking in the pattern of the word of God not like a pharaoh not like a pharaoh moses stopped being a pharaoh moses stopped being a prince and he became a shepherd 
he became a savior he knew how to protect his people that was the pattern that god wanted that was the mindset that god wanted that was the thinking ability that god wanted from a prince to a shepherd can you think like a shepherd today or are you only comfortable with the position that the world has given to you are you comfortable only with the position and the title that the world has given to you are you able to create your own position and your own title or are you looking at the world to honor you and to give you titles you know a lot of people even though they have talent even though they they know how to do things you know the reason why they are not able to do it is because of only one word let me say that word t i m i d t i m i d doubtfulness timid timothy don't be a timothy don't be a timothy don't doubt when god has given you something precious keep it inside your heart and believe it firmly and believe it with saying god thank you for giving me the dream thank you for giving me this vision thank you for giving me and protecting me according to your will you are a mighty warrior my dear brother and sister you are a mighty warrior take charge of your life take charge take control of your situations start moving like the shepherd stop thinking like an administrator stop thinking like like moses in egypt start living a life of moses being a shepherd if you are ready for the change let's close our eyes and pray oh my father we thank you for this day we thank you for this beautiful word that you given to us oh lord we thank you for this fire that you are burning inside our hearts oh father oh lord as we are being blessed with this word of oh father oh lord let us help other people renew their minds of oh father oh my dear father whoever is watching this program of oh father let their mind be renewed in jesus name of oh father oh lord let them change from their fearfulness to being a strong person let them change from their disastrous life to a successful life oh my dear father let them not be conformed to the worldly pattern but let them think according to the word of god my dear father your word says even though a thousand may fall on my right side and 10000 my left no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper father oh my dear father that's the word that you giving of father whoever is watching this program and being blessed of father touch them of father touch them of god let their lives be changed from a fearful thinking to a thinking of strength and power strength and power let them be great warriors in the field that that they are created to be great warriors of oh father let their fields flourish of oh father let their work give great crop of oh father let their work produce abundance of oh father oh my dear father let that work bring an identification in their lives of oh father thank you my dear father for the word and for blessing us today oh my dear father we pray for the offerings that is being collected right now lord every person whoever is giving their offerings of oh father bless them abundantly of oh father lord let look upon this offering as an aromatic incense in your altar oh my dear father as they give into your kingdom of oh father let their hand prosper let their hand prosper and let abundance flow into their families in Jesus mighty name we ask and pray amen may the love of the father the grace of the son and the communion of the holy spirit be with us for now and forevermore amen 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 you can give as the song plays you know the word of the lord says a god is good and he's good all the time let's all join our hands together as we worship our lord god almighty and sing the song with me god is good all the time God is good all the time He put a song of praise in this heart of mine 
God is good all the time through the darkest night His light will shine God is good God is good all the time if you're walking through the valley and there are shadows all around do not fear he will guide you he will keep you safe and sound because his promise to never leave you nor forsake you and his word is true god is good all the time he put a song of praise in this heart of mine god is good all the time through the darkest night his light will shine god is good god is good all the time god is good We were sinners, so unworthy, still for us we chose to die. He filled us with His Holy Spirit, now we can stand and testify that His love is everlasting and His mercy, they will never end. God is good. God is good. All the time, we put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. That's right. All the time, through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. If you're walking through the valley. There are shadows all around. Do not fear, He will guide you, He will keep you safe and sound. Cause His promise to never leave you nor forsake you, and His word is true. God is good all the time, He put a song of praise. In this heart of mine, God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Yes, He is good all the time. Hallelujah. If you have been impacted with this message, only if you're impacted, okay, only if you're impacted, give a thumbs up hit on that like button only if you are impacted subscribe to the channel only if you are impacted share it with your friends only if you are impacted thank you god bless you